Happy 4th of July. It's me, me. I'm feeling okay. Not wonderful, not horrible, but okay. Um, a little bit sad that I have to spend my 4th of July in the bed and not out enjoying the festivities, but I'm thankful because I'm here. Um, because it is the 4th and I'm doing a video update, I do want to uh, show you if you're interested in seeing or whenever you guys get an opportunity to come around to view this video, I do want to show <clears throat> what um, it looks like from um, the after the surgery. I went in for injections um, on last Friday, and so, wait, yeah, I think Friday, my days, when you're, <laughs> when you don't work outside of the, excuse me, when you don't work outside of the house and you don't have any reason to keep up with days, then you kind of lose track of what the day is. So that being said, no, it wasn't Friday. I think it was Monday. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was Monday. Uh, at any rate, uh, whatever, I'm sorry, I'm horrible with the camera right now. Whatever day it was, I uh, just wanted to give you an update and show you what the area looks like that they have, that they are going to be injecting. They implanted the expanders and now they're doing injections that have to be done once a week. And with the once a week injections, um, there's pain associated, but most importantly, what they're trying to do is stretch the skin so that um, it'll be ready for reconstructive surgery. So I'm going to show you here. So please be aware that this might be considered explicit. It's just my body. So I'll show you. So it almost looks like I have breasts. I'm going to sit up so you can see what that looks like. So the, where they did the surgery, it's a longer incision. And here is where they did the insert of the fluid. It's 90 cc's. And then here again is the incision. And here is where they did the insert. Now they look a little different, which causes me to be a little concerned because this one looks a little dented, whereas this one protrudes more. If you can see it protrudes more, this one looks dented, which makes me think that maybe something might have gone wrong and now Scooter thinks that you know I'm always like a bit of a hypochondriac now they did remove the um, the drainage tubes so I have those areas there as well but um, those those things said I'm sorry I have my feet going all over the camera everything is going well I'm still enduring quite a bit of pain um, but now just a little sad that I don't get to partake. I'm not working, nor am I able to enjoy, uh, 4th of July, uh, festivities. So, um, but my husband has been very, very, very good to me. He's been making me whatever I want and burn, running to the store and buying me sunflower seeds because <laughs> I wanted sunflower seeds and then, just a moment ago, I said I want a Hagen Dazs, so he went to the store and bought me Hagen Dazs. So he's been like husband of the year. I definitely think he deserves something really, really special because he has been going out of his way to make certain that everything is very, very comfortable. Oh, and the reason why I'm lying in the bed with no clothes on is because I am hot. I don't know if I'm going through hot flashes or what, but it is hot in here. Um, I have a panty, so it's not like I'm completely naked. I just don't have on a, anything up top. So, happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Love, blessings to all. And thank all who have fought, um, who have died for our freedom and who continue to fight. I do appreciate you and um, appreciate uh, those who have to uh, suffer during this time for lives that have been lost. I do appreciate it. 
Thank you, love you, love you. Thank you guys for listening to me as I talk about my journey. I hope you have a wonderful day. My hair is starting to kind of, it's filling in, but it's just, you know, it's it's getting some growth, but it's kind of haven't done anything to it. Hope you guys have a great day. And Mildred Alexander and Stephanie uh, Bryant, <laughs> I'm sorry, had a, just a brain book. I'm mad at you guys for going away and not inviting me, although I couldn't go with my medical situation. But I do just want you guys to know that I am mad at you. I love you guys. Oh, and um, Bev, I want some of those pumpkin seeds. All right. Talk to you later.